Follow the pit. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly fell over. There you go, look. I am at a very, very blustery football stadium. It's now closed down. This is the home, or previous home, to Truro City FC. See there. Which is the highest placed football team in Cornwall. But unfortunately for Truro, this ground is no longer operational. It's been closed down and they currently play 55 miles away in Plymouth Parkway, so it's a 110 mile round trip. And the reason this, this ground was closed is because they're currently in the National League South, because they got promoted last year from the Southern League, but they can't go any higher up in the pyramid system into the National League, because the ground, this ground wasn't big enough. So the whole plan was to build a new ground in conjunction with Cornwall Council, sharing with the Cornish Pirates rugby union team but funding was available the funding's been pulled and the club currently can't afford to build the stadium themselves I read initially there was a, a stadium of about 16,000 that was going to build in this city of Truro but the locals rejected it they didn't want it so a more moderately sized ground around about three to four thousand has been proposed but currently, whether it's going to be on this site, because this, I think this site's been earmarked for development, but I don't think it's going to be here, but they currently don't have this stadium, hence why they're playing in Plymouth, Plymouth Parkway. But it's quite, um, it's quite sad to see. I don't like seeing old stadiums, because it's a really decent sized site, and they can actually put a decent sized stadium here. But as I say, these are the only, the highest placed club in Cornwall. There is no sort of, decent sized stadium in the whole of the county of Cornwall and later on in the video hoping to get to Camborne which is the largest stadium in this county and hopefully going to go and see where the Cornish Pirates play in Penzance but here we are this is what used to be here so yeah Sad state of affairs, really. I mean, the county of Cornwall, quite a few people live in here. I mean, they could, could easily entertain a, a much bigger, a bigger club than the National League South. But, yeah, look, let's see. This is the stand. What's left of it? But no, the weather's not kind to me today. It's absolutely pouring up with rain. I've not seen one sunny day since I've been down this part of the, of the UK. We're about the most westerly point you can be in mainland Britain. But yeah, sad. It's a hell of an away journey for clubs to come down to Truro, but, but there's nothing else here. So it's a sad, it's sad, but there we go. Let's extend it up. There we go. That's what's left stadium oh, I managed to get inside shouldn't really be in here but look there we go look there's the old turnstiles there we go that's the turnstiles there that's the old turnstile yeah it's derelict, but nothing there at all. It's a shame, really, because um, it's a really decent site. It's flat. There's obviously the ground before, but no, it's look, all boarded up. I presume this would have been the clubhouse or something, bar for fans. Yeah, but. Um, yeah, there's no entry points in, it's all completely boarded up. 
toilets. <laughs> there you go, look. There's the badge. Truro City Football Club, established 1889. There we go. That's the site there. Yeah, I presume I would have come down here. What if I the pit? Whoa! <laughs> then he fell over. There you go, look. <laughs> That'd be good for the video. I wonder which the pitch if it went sort of that way, left to right, or it's straight forward and back. So I'll have to let me know, but yeah, there we go. Truro City Football Club. In the rain! Oh, things I do for this channel. So welcome back. So I am outside Cairnbourne Rugby Union Club, which is the largest stadium in Cornwall. I can't quite see it. I'm going to zoom up. Can't get access into it. I mean, let's see it there. It's a bit noise, all locked up. Um, so this stadium holds about 7,000, got about sort of 700 seated capacity and that main stand but I think the reason I'm here I'm just um look, just about see it there that's the main stand I mean the reason I'm here is well, I was at Truro yesterday and I just don't understand why Truro don't play their own games here because it's only a few miles away from Truro the city but but they do that 110 mile round trip have to put them apart way, but yeah, anyway, so this is the um, so this is the largest stadium. Um, I think I've got a better view here actually. Oh, yeah, here we go. Zoom up, hopefully, you can see the stadium there. There we go. And sort of following on from when I filmed at Truro yesterday, I'm going to overlay some pictures on the screen because I managed to find out what the stadium did look like initially. So as you walk through them turnstiles, that was actually behind the, the goal. And it, you had like a stand to the right-hand side, which looks like it was a temporary stand, and I think the dugouts were to the left. But hopefully there should be some pictures on the screen now, which I found online. But, but here we go. Look, another view here of the... Rugby ground. There you go, that's the main stand. And this is Kembourne Rugby Union Club, which is the officially the largest stadium in Cornwall. Final look. And oh, by the way, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and also comment as well. So if you're from Cornwall and you know a lot more about Truro than what I do, then please leave some comments and um, yeah, and leave comments regarding um, you know details on the new stadium for Cornwall as well. But it's just that I find myself in Cornwall the last few days, so I just thought I'd make a video later on today tomorrow i'm hoping to get down to penzance and i'll see where the cornish pirates play because when they do build a new ground they're going to be sharing it with truro so it'll be truro and cornish pirates sharing the same ground but yeah so from here rain's just about held off unlike yesterday i'm now going to head off down to penzance to have a look at the cornish pirates stadium Another day, another ground, it's sort of part three of my little mini journey in Cornwall. And today we are 
in Penzance and look at the Cornish Pirates ground. So there's a little gap and a fence here. There we go, so I'll pan it round. As you can see, it's quite an old fashioned ground. Seats to the left and there's the main stand to the right. Holds about 4,000. Get a better view here. Let's go up. There we go. Holds about 4,000, 2,000 seats. And the reason I'm here is because if they get this new stadium for Cornwall, Truro City Football Club will be sharing that stadium with this rugby union club, Cornish Pirates. So, I mean, I went to that uh, stadium at Campbell yesterday. You know, it was just one stand and, and it was just standing around the field, around the pitch, but this is a bit more of a stadium. This is a bit more of an old fashioned stadium, a bit more going on, a bit more traditional. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, obviously this is not a rugby union channel, but it's, I do like stadiums full stop grounds, ground hopping, but I'm going to give another look, better look here, there we go, as you can see, yeah, quite a few seats, old fashioned stand that's been there for many years, but yeah, it's nice, as grounds go, and obviously, um, uh, Cornish Pirates Rugby Union Club, they have the same problem as Truro. They can't, <coughs> excuse me, they can't get promoted into the Premier League in Rugby Union because this ground doesn't meet their requirements. It's the capacity is too small. But yeah, so they do get this new stadium along with um, Truro for this stadium of Cornwall. Then both Truro and Cornish Pirates will be able to progress in their sports retrospectively in a bigger on purpose ground. Um, Make sure you subscribe um, to the channel. Make hit that like button as well if you haven't already done so. Hopefully this has been sort of educational for you. <laughs> I've learnt quite a lot the last few days sort of researching all this. Um, check out my ground hopping videos as well. Um, football season resumes in a couple of weeks' time, so I'm looking to complete the 160 grounds. England, Scotland, Wales. A few trips to Scotland planned in the next couple of months. And um, yeah, check out my Who's Big videos as well. But as I say, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to do a bit of an overlay of the area around this stadium now. Um, but leave comments, as I say, if you know a lot about this stadium for Cornwall. A lot more than me. I've done a quick bit of research prior to me coming to these grounds. Drop some comments in, let me know what's happening and will this ground ever take place and will it ever be built. But thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.